Big round of applause. Thank you. Test, test, one, two, here we go. I want to talk a little bit about your process, and of course, Barbara, your first film, is that right? Your first film experience. So I wanted to start there, and then we'll open it up to a Q&A to uh, the crowd. So, so with this film, what I love about your work is you're always, you're just a visionary. You stick to your big idea, and every little detail is thought of. There's nothing, you're not the director who's going to, leave a Starbucks cup in Game of Thrones. You're very detailed, so. I mean, it sometimes happens to everybody, but yeah, no, I'm a, I said it today, and I said I'm never gonna say it again, but let me just say it, I had a beer. I'm an anal perfectionist, and <laughs> it's, you know, you, you love me and you hate me at the same time. I have a very precise vision, and until I get it, I'm not gonna stop. And yes, this is like a snippet of something, of a larger idea of a feature film that we're making this year, and it is, I like to sometimes when it comes to these subjects of short films, I like to start ambiguous and, sh and end in a way that it's ended, but it ambiguous as well, that you can sort of use your own imagination of what comes next. So this was definitely, you know, use this one for you know, Serpentine. And Barbara, what about you and your experience? Uh, fantastic work, fantastic work. Thank what you. Was your, what was your first experience Woo! like? I wish I wasn't shaking so much. <laughs> What's the question? <laughs> what was your What was the experience like? Your first film, working with Ava, how was it? I mean, Ava was a big help, for sure. I, I walked up and sat very nervous, like now, shaking. And uh, just her being so passionate about the project really helped me a lot. And getting into character with all the amazing team of the makeup team made it really easier for me. Not easy, but easier. Easier. And how many days did y'all shoot this in? We only had two. Two days. two days. And I have to ask a question about the location, because that's not just any studio build. Where was that? No, I'm not going to say that, obviously, but it is, it is somewhere in California. That's all I'm going to say. She's holding, she's keeping and playing it close it to the It is a best. very special place. It is, it is, I mean, that, how it worked out with this, because the snake god, it's, you know, if, if some of you did not get this per se, it is Eve's ovaries, Severus's sperm, and snake god's soul that and created... And the snake was real. <laughs> True story. Um, and they create this new DNA sort of thing. But so having that light from the ark and sort of having that voice of God was, it just worked out so beautifully. And you know, when just things fall into place and this was definitely one of them. Uh, the concept is so high level. How did you come up with this? Because you wrote it, you directed it. Where, where did it come from? Well, like I said in the opening, I've always been interested about metamorphosis and that's what my feature film is dealing with as well. Um, changing i've i've gone through so many metamorphoses myself and i feel like we constantly changing and so it's a it's a subject that i want to keep exploring as much as i can and in a feature film it's a little bit handled a little bit differently and it's in a different animal and it's a someone turns into something a little bit different and um however um coming up with this concept it was it was just you know when you like you living your life and and you're like, well, this is never going to happen to me. So I'm going to film it <laughs> so that I get to experience it. <laughs> I, I would love this never to happen to never, me. Never say never, Ava. Never say never. every day. Exactly. True, true. Um, I want to open it up to the audience, just a few questions, if anybody has some questions for, uh, for, the, for the filmmakers. In the back. Uh, I do realize that every time you film something, it deals with subject matter of rebirth or reincarnation, or reinvigoration of some sort. And I guess, as your friend even, I'm interested personally to know kind of why that's so interesting of a subject matter for you to display on screen. It's interesting to watch indefinitely, but it's also intriguing, so. It's a good question, Ilan, thanks for that. Um, it is, I believe that it's because I feel that I'm in the constant metamorphosis and you know, Growing up with Kafka, Metamorphosis, it has been one of the most important pieces for me. And just the idea of turning into something else throughout our lifetime just seems so intriguing and sexy. 
and I wish that could happen to me. I always dreamt that I would get abducted by aliens ever since I was a little girl. I always wanted to go to Hogwarts. I was like, how? Wanted to be a wizard. <laughs> it's At least I got the, the snake yeah. language out of this movie, you know? It's the same probability of that happening, zero. Uh, maybe the aliens first. <laughs> But no, I, I definitely feel that um, I've lived a few lives as of now, and I will still keep living few lives. And that's why it's so, it's just very important to me to put that, I don't know, I feel like I haven't synced in the full subject yet, and once I'm through that, I'll move on to s something else. But I, I just want to keep the transformation going for now. That's great. Perfect answer. Um, I do want to, uh, piggybacking off that, what attracted you, Barbara, to this project and her vision? Since this is your first time, your first film, what did you latch on to? I mean, obviously, I love the story, and I was excited to work with Ava, but also, I mean, I've been modeling for 16 years, which is all about beauty, all about posing and angles, and this was really stepping out of my comfort zone, and I like, I like a challenge. Great. All right. Well, let's go back to the audience uh, in the back there, Beanie. Didn't mean to just compartmentalize you to like be. Uh, this is, no, project. this is me. Probably more, much more than that. <laughs> I, I, she kind of tapped into the question that I was going to ask. Uh, it's a little nerdy, and I apologize for this, but I kind of got a little parcel tongue, little Harry Potter vibes in the beginning. Was that a little bit of inspiration for you, or no? I'm going to try to take that as a compliment. Um, <laughs> I apologize. I'm sorry. No, it was. I, I enjoyed it very good. No, they're great films. Why not? Um, um, Barbara was talking about it. <laughs> she loves Harry Potter. Um, yes and no. You know, I, it's in the back of my mind somewhere from being a kid. Um, but I guess other than the snake language, no. We were going to create um, the, the, the voice. It's created partially with score, partially with a voiceover, and partially with fucking up with it in, in the sound design and just adding sort of like little things to it. But then I thought if it's way too strange in terms of having the strange language and then having a strange sound like in June, sort of say, it's gonna be way too experimental even with what we're seeing on a screen. So I sort of stick to the familiarness of, you know, it being maybe a potential, like the voice of God, imagine God spoke to us right now, right? He would still sound like a person. He would just sound so much more, yes, and it large. It would sound how you imagine him. You oh, know? yeah, I know. <laughs> or her, or her, just throwing it out there. Yeah. Um, okay, let's do one more uh, audience question and then we're, we're gonna wrap it up. Let's go. I, okay, so maybe two, two. Let's go real quick, Orange. Hey, uh, someone introduced me to you last night and I was, I'm so glad they did. Uh, and you, I'm glad it came. You wanted to make this about metamorphosis. Why did you choose a snake? You could have met, done it into anything, right? So you chose this specific thing to use for your metamorphosis. Why? Why the snake? Because snake, you know, they're a sign of wisdom and metamorphosis, actually. So they're, they're the ultimate sign of that. And it would have been hard to get a frog up there. But, um... <laughs> hey, there's space between... Never mind. <laughs> this just got not safe for work, folks. Not safe for work. Scratch that. <laughs> All right, I think okay, we got no more words run, after that. Are we running out of time? I think we are. A couple more minutes. What's the time? Um, so I think we're running out of time. I, I do want to take one more question. Real quick, blonde uh, female there. I was just kind of wondering what's in store for everyone with the feature. Because it sounds like amazing. Yes, thank you, thank you. I am I'm a very secretive... Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, someone said, you know, it's like I've got this compliment or not one time. It's like a, I, I'm like a female gaze. I'm like, hmm, I'm going to take that as a compliment. So what's in store for the feature with the female gaze? I am, I'm a very secretive person. I would love to tell of you guys, but I'm a... Um, Who's the lead, Ava? <laughs> oh, put you on the spot with the casting. <laughs> well, you would certainly earn it. You deserve it. Oh, what's in it? What's in it? Tell it. Well, you guys are going to have to pry it out of her at the after party. <laughs> yeah, no, it is. I'm, I'm not going to reveal, but it, it again, it deals with metamorphosis, but on a next level and also with slut shaming and becoming a woman and about overcoming something that is deeply embedded in you 
and yet you find a strength to get over it. Yeah. And I think, uh, let's give one more round of applause. One more round of applause. For Woo, thank you, Mama Film Festival. Thank you for having us. I love you guys. You know who you are. Thank you so much. Let's have a Jaeger shot. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Oh,